at Ben Zogel's Seinfeld episode. Oh, yeah? All I got left is a finale. Wow. Although, I heard some terrible things about it. I heard you it up. 26 years after the Seinfeld finale, which Larry David wrote, we find the defendants guilty. Curb Your Enthusiasm moved towards its own effed up conclusion in its final episode entitled No Lessons Learned Sunday Night. We find the defendant guilty. Yes, Larry chose then the show in the exact same way, with his character ending up in the slammer. Now, while the Seinfeld Four ended up in jail for not being good Samaritans, Larry ended up in jail for being too good of a Samaritan. The second button is the key button. It literally makes or breaks the shirt. Look at it, it's too high. It's in no man's land. And just like Seinfeld recreated a discussion around male attire in its final moments, Curb did the same thing. Hey, look at this. That happens to me too. Now, what do you call that? It's a pants tent. Haven't we had this conversation before? You think? I think we have. Yeah, maybe we have. And the camera began to pull back, leaving its subject in their cell. Hey. But wait. Somebody's here to see you. Let me take you back to October 2023, when Jerry Seinfeld took questions from the audience after he finished his stand-up gig in Boston. Did I like what? The ending. The ending of the show. Well, I have a little secret for you about the ending. But I can't really tell it. Because it is a secret. Here's what I'll tell you, okay? But you can't tell anybody. Something is going to happen that has to do with that ending. Really? It hasn't happened yet. Now at the time, Variety pondered if Jerry was implying a Seinfeld reunion. Well, New York Post just flat out decided that's what Jerry was doing, but didn't say that. Just what you are thinking about, Larry and I have also been thinking about, so you'll see. Well, six months later, we saw Sunday Night. All right, Chuckles, let's get you out of here. Jerry had spotted a juror not sequestering in a local restaurant the night before the verdict was read, so a mistrial was declared. It's over. It's over. You're a free man. On Monday, the day after the finale aired, TV Line asked Curb's executive producer Jeff Schaefer and cast member Susie Essman if they were worried that people would figure out that Jerry's unauthorized tease was about Curb's finale. And Jeff said, what we started to realize was even if people thought we were going to do the Seinfeld finale, that was okay. And Susie says, it didn't really matter. I mean, I'm noticing as of Tuesday, people still haven't connected with Jerry said back in October to, yeah, the Curb finale. You don't want to end up like this. Nobody wants to see it. Trust me. And Jeff says that when they came up with this idea, Jerry was in instantly. After we shot that jail scene, he was excited. He said, this is a joke that's 26 years in the making. When do we get a chance to do that? So he was on board. It was so great having him on the show. It was a really special way to wrap it up. Oh my God. This is how we should have ended the finale. Oh my God, you're right. How did we not think of that? Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious how excited Jerry was um, over the fact that he couldn't help but tease it to an audience six months in advance. Now, what did you think about Curb redoing Seinfeld's finale? Um, I mean, I can't imagine the outrage that would have taken place if it had ended with just him and a slammer again. <laughs> People would have been really pissed off. But yeah, it was a clever way for Larry and Jerry, really, to poke fun of themselves. Ah. And I think people often forget too that um, it's not like Elaine, Kramer, George, and Jerry were left in purgatory. Like, I mean, they're only in jail for a year, so they've been out back in the fictitious world for 25 years. Yeah, <laughs> they're doing just fine. But yeah, what are your thoughts on Curb redoing Seinfeld's finale?